emphatic pronouns. As the word is very clear by its meaning, so the definition comes to be very simple. Emphatic, having some sort of emphasis. Sometimes personal pronouns are used for the sake of emphasis in the sentence. So basically, the personal pronoun is being used with the reflexive pronoun in order to emphasize on some action that is being done. So the example here is, I myself saw him do it. Now when we talk about the personal pronoun and the reflexive pronoun coming together, it is different from the example that we did in the previous uh, slide, which said, I hurt myself. So the verb came in between the subject and the object. Here, the personal pronoun I and the reflexive pronoun myself are coming together without the intervention of a verb. Why is it so? Because in English language, it is the intonation also that matters and brings out the meaning, which has been emphasized in our previous lectures, that intonation changes the meaning of the sentence. So in this sentence, I would say it like this, I myself, I myself saw him to do it. It cannot be I myself. It has to be I myself. There has to be emphasis on that in order to bring out the meaning. The emphasis is that nobody else did it. I myself saw him do it. I am very sure that I myself saw him do it. So the emphasis is being brought by joining the personal pronoun with the reflexive pronoun. So here the object is not myself as in the previous lecture that we said that reflexive pronoun myself is also the object of the sentence. In this example, myself which is a reflexive pronoun but it is not the object the object is some other person to whom it is being referred saw him do it if it was i myself saw him take the book then the book would have been the object take would have been the verb but here because the personal pronoun and the reflexive pronoun, they come together, then it is known as emphatic pronoun. You yourself can best explain. You yourself can best explain. Again, the intonation factor is very important. You can't say it like this, you yourself can best explain. No that would be not bringing out the meaning of the uh, emphatic pronoun. You have to say you yourself, you yourself, because you have to combine the two together to bring out the emphatic pronoun, can best explain. So in this case, it becomes an emphatic pronoun. He himself said so. So himself is not here the object because himself is actually referring to the personal pronoun he but being converted into an emphatic pronoun because the emphasis is on he. He did it. He is the one who did it. So the emphasis has to be brought on the personal pronoun and change it into emphatic pronoun and thus it becomes he himself said so. The teacher herself told us to leave. So again, the teacher, who is the noun, the subject, herself told us to leave. So the emphasis is that there was nobody else who told them to leave. If it was a personal pronoun for the teacher, it could be he himself told us to leave or she herself 
told us to leave. But in any case, in order to bring the emphasis on the sentence that the action has been done by the subject and this subject can be represented by a pronoun and this pronoun would be a personal pronoun. So when a reflexive pronoun would be added immediately after the personal pronoun, it would then become an emphatic pronoun in order to emphasize on the meaning of the sentence.